Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got our special guest co-host Ivy Rivera here. Yes, sir. And if you're just joining us, Philadelphia has banned the ski mask. Now they ban them in some public places. They're saying a measure that will increase public safety and reduce crime. Now, some of the places that they're banning these masks are public uh, places like schools, recreation centers, parks, city-owned buildings, and public transportation. Now, we're asking, what are your thoughts on this? If you're caught wearing one of those places, it's a $250 fine. And if you're caught doing a crime with a mask, it's a $2,000 fine. They have banned the shiesty. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, uh, especially in public places. Um, the park, I don't understand that because it is cold mm -hmm. in parks. Um, some public transportation is definitely cold. You know what I mean? So, you know, any place where there are no elements that they have to fend off, I totally understand them banning. There's no need to, you know, walk into a store with a ski mask on. I, I always tell y'all this story, man. Back in the day, uh, my dude Shane Gandy, God bless the dead. You know, Shane uh, it was a young man from West Virginia. Remember mm -hmm. that show that used to come on MTV called yep. Buck Wild? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and I remember we were down there shooting an episode of Buck Wild, me and Lil Duval, and I had the full camouflage gear on and I had a, a, a ski mask on. And uh, we pulled over to like a drugstore or something and I was about to get out and Shane said verbatim, he went crazy, he turned bleep, beat red, and he said, Charlemagne, no! Can't go in there with that ski mask on. You a nigger in West Virginia, they'll kill you dead. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even offended that he used the N-word because he was trying to show me and tell me how they will see me mm -hmm. in West Virginia going in there with a ski mask on. So, yeah, there's no need to have on no ski mask in no public place. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I feel like, especially in the summer, when I see these these young individuals wearing these ski masks in the, in, in the summer, I just think it's a problem. And I know for, for people trying to fight crimes, you can't see who's doing the crime. I mean, you can't see hairstyle. You can't see tattoos. All you're really seeing is just eyes. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do get it. When I, um, when I fly, and it's a long flight, Back when COVID was big, I would wear a ski mask. The reason we, the reason being is the mask would hurt the back of my ears. When when you have to put those masks on and you have to, you know, on a flight for five six hours, it would hurt. So I would wear the ski mask so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, but nobody, people know you're not about to stick up the plane. Exactly. That, <laughs> you know that's, what that's, I'm saying? that's my point. Like you don't went through security. You don't went through the metal detectors. They know you're not about to stick up the plane. That's my point. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow my kids to wear a ski masks. No, not at all. I, I I don't feel for their safety. And I think it's a good thing. I, I think hopefully it will reduce a lot of these crimes because if somebody walks into a store or a business that has a ski mask on it, nine times out of ten people are already thinking the worst. Just pull it up. What about you, fashionista? I mean, Miss Fashionista I Ivy Rivera? I literally say, it's, it's a fashion thing now. You know, they, mm -hmm. they sell ski masks everywhere and the COVID epidemic really influenced that, mm -hmm. right? It to did. your point, when you didn't want to wear a mask, you put on a ski mask because it was just more convenient. You could pull it up and make it a hat and do whatever you had to do. So now to fight for you not to wear it is like what happened to like my freedom of just expressing myself, you know, but I do agree that in certain places it's just unnecessary. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you're committing a crime, I mean, hello, you want to put that ski mask on. You're not going to be like, mm -hmm. hey, everybody, I'm committing a crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I mean, just know. to put people at ease, if I walk into a public place, all you got to do is pull it up, guys. Mm -hmm. just, that's it. Just don't cover your face. Mm -hmm. And doesn't it like, isn't that something that just like kicks back your breath? Well, you have that to brush your teeth. True. You got to brush your teeth. You got like, I feel like, one, the mask really shed light on how many people's breath really stink. A lot of y'all found out y'all needed root canal. <laughs> mm. But yeah, people talking through that ski mask ain't it. Hello, Jada. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Take us off Bluetooth right fast, mama. Yeah, that's what I'm Good morning. Good morning. What do you think about the ski mask, man? I think they should ban them across the country. Cause the, I mean, it's cold outside, I understand, but if the kids are going to come into the places of business, they're going to keep them on. you got to have enough common sense to take it off when you get inside where you're going. That's right. You ain't going to do that. And nine times out of ten, they're not going to do that. Then they ban them across the whole country. It is what it is. I okay. agree. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Peaches. Hey. Put your seatbelt on, Peaches. Oh, Jesus. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what my kids would be like, Daddy, Daddy put like your the seatbelt on. There you go, Peaches. So no. We're, we're talking about the no, ski mask band. I'm, I'm out. Okay, so I, my question, is it like a thing there in Philly? So, because to me, why not just ban all masks? It, they don't, don't kind of make sense to me. He said they don't the do average law-abiding citizen, 
Why not ban all masks? Well, I think well, this is the this is what the the street's been calling the shiesty mask, which Correct. is like the ski mask. But well, you, you only see the I person's get that. eyes. I get that. Right, right, okay. So like full face covering, guy, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, and it's I just the eyes. I was and, just trying and, to make sense of it. Yeah, and they're banning it in public places, which makes sense. Like, why are you walking in my That's store true. or That's establishment true. with That's your face true. covered like that? I'm with you. I'm with you. Hello, who's this? Good morning. It's your boy Lovey from the Bronx. Good morning, Envy. Good morning, Charlemagne. Love you, what Hi, Love Ivy. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing marvelous. How you doing, Poppy? Why y'all talking to each other like that? I don't I'm, know. I'm doing black now. She likes white she got guys. My morning pop chill, 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 She likes chill. white guys, Lovey. <laughs> Lovey, you're that not sure. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> that was That's a rumor. rumor. I'm to, yes, I'm here to confirm that it's not true. Well, I'm here to confirm that, you know, I'm Mr. 13 and a half, so if you ever think about flipping over... No, relax. Y'all don't on, talk to my niece like that. Up, Fall mess back. Up. Nah, we not Ivy's doing Ivy's life, all right? That's a little sis. Leave her alone. And why are you looking all right, so excited, all right, all right. Ivy? Sit down somewhere. I'm just shocked. Oh. <laughs> Okay, love Are you shocked now? Wait till I get a hold of you. All right, right love That's not happening. Hang up. Matter of fact, hang up. Right, I don't want right. to talk to love you. I don't want to talk to love Come you. on, love you. Continue <laughs> on. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I want to say as a single father, this ski mask thing is kind of touchy-feely. Because my son's school had me come to the school over the ski mask so I can see how it can be. You know I mean, if you're a single father and you send your son out, you want your son to come home. So you, you know uh, Charlemagne as a father, Envy as a father, it can be how they could they can they want to shoot us down for just having black skin. That's right. So you mm-hmm. can imagine having that ski mask and them having this game perception in their head. So I, I don't know, man. I'm on a fence. It's not with no. This I don't know. This is not rocket science, guys. Like you, you don't walk into a public establishment with your ski mask on. Like just simply pull it up so people can see your face. Not it's not that, difficult. I love you in the Bronx. It hasn't been that cold yet to wear a ski mask. Let's be honest. Like I get it when no, the temperatures no. are snowing and it's 10 degrees. I get it. But it hasn't been that cold. And by the way, you're only wearing that outside. Yeah, you haven't been Once that cold to wear it. you walk into a venue where there's heat, pull your goddamn mask up. It ain't rocket science. Now ski you're mask right, to men right. is like sunglasses to girls. We want to be low. Really? Exactly. Yeah. I don't agree. Nah. <laughs> I love my breakfast club for them. Y'all have a blessed day. I don't think sunglasses in the ski mask are, 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 I think that's a false equivalent. It's like a disguise. Nah. I put... Ski masks are the new baggy jeans, though. Nah, ski masks are, are, the more, are the new hoodies. I would say the new hoodies. But the problem with that is if somebody commits a crime and they're wearing a ski mask, you can't be mad if they pull you over because you got a ski mask on. I mean, if you're you driving saying? with a ski mask on, if you're on, driving like, you with doing? a ski mask on, you deserve to be pulled <laughs> over. Why the hell would you be driving with a ski mask on unless you ain't got no heat? Or something. There's got to be a reason. Why the hell are you driving with Bro, no ski mask on? Bro, they were wearing ski masks in the summer. It's 100 degrees. They got ski masks on. Once again, stop and frisk. Okay? <laughs> Why the hell are you wearing a ski mask in the summer? Like, let's make some sense. We're not making no sense here, people. None. 800-585-1051. So Philadelphia is banning the ski mask in some public places. What are your thoughts? Let's discuss. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about Philadelphia. They just banned ski masks in certain uh, public places. All right, they're saying that uh, they want to increase public safety and get rid of some of the high violence. All right, now uh, it passed yesterday with a 13 to 2 vote. Now, some of the places is going to be uh, schools, recreation centers, parks, city-owned buildings, and on public transportation. I'm actually shocked that they had to make this a law. I would honestly believe that people with common sense would know you shouldn't walk into a public establishment with a ski mask on. What I want to see is if crime actually changes with this pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's going to be a game changer for real. I I think it will. And there's a lot of people that that don't agree with it. We got RJ on the line. RJ, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Now, you think uh, banning banning the ski mask is stupid? Yep. Yeah, it's totally stupid. Why are you going to ask people to obey the law while they're in the process of breaking the law? Huh? What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what you say? I get what he's saying because you're saying that the people who are actually committing crimes are going to wear a ski mask anyway. Correct. Yeah, and they're not, these are not law-abiding people we're talking about. You're trying to ban ski masks I, in order to 
uh, depress crime. I, and that, I, I don't see how that's affected. Yeah, I don't think that's what this is for. I think that, like, let's go back to what we were talking about earlier where bodega owners are now allowed to use weapons, right? Or, or have, have guns on them. Mm-hmm. All it's doing is is stopping people from being suspicious of other individuals. I think it's actually decreasing things like profiling. It's making people feel more safe and more secure. Because if I'm working in a store and somebody walks in, let's just say a group of people walk in with ski mask Mm -hmm. on, you're not going to automatically feel the way? You're not going to automatically be like, man, maybe I should call somebody to come just investigate this situation? I mean, if I'm in a store and I see somebody walk in the store with a ski mask, you I'm, suspicious. I'm going to be on high alert. Yeah. I'm going to be on high alert. Absolutely. That's true. Hello, who's this? This Pat from Cleveland. Hey, Pat from Cleveland. Talk to us. We're talking about uh, Philadelphia's banning ski mask. What's your thoughts? Man, I can see you banning it, walking inside a store or anything, but it's the wintertime. Everybody needs to keep warm. It's the same as wearing a COVID mask and a hat on your head. You still they're ain't going to know who, who they, it is. They're only talking about public places, sir. They they said the park, which I think is a bit ridiculous. I don't think they should put the park in there. But most of these, right, the mo- park is an outside place. Correct. It's cold outside. Yeah, most of these places they're talking about the are public. Summertime. Most of these places they're talking about are public, public places. Though. Right. But well, I, think, what a- I think anything indoors is the problem. Like, once you go indoors, the mask got to come off. That's it. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. That's what I mean when I say public places. Like, if you walk indoors... With a ski mask on, pull your ski mask up, bro. Dustin. Yeah. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. We're talking about Philadelphia banning these ski masks. What's your thoughts, bro? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, I feel like it's a good thing. Um, We already have enough crime going on, and then not to be able to kind of see who's doing that crime makes it a lot harder. And then on top of that, I mean, there's ski masks. So unless you got ski on your feet, you in the mountains and you snow, there's no reason to be having that ski mask on. Mm. And once again, they didn't ban ski masks, guys. They just don't want you wearing ski masks in indoors public places, in public right. venues. I don't have a problem with that. My oh, man Dustin sound like a mom. He said, if you don't got the skis on your feet, you ain't got no ski mask on. Like, <laughs> like. Cliff. What up, Doe? What up, Doe? Detroit, what's up? Yeah, I, I know you like the ski mask, boy, because Detroit be cold. Look, I like the ski mask when the Detroit Lions rally us to go ahead and bring it to the game. But it's Detroit, bro. I'm tired of going to the grocery store and having to reach for my strap just because I see one of these youngins with a push ice tea on. Like, come on, youngin. Get a, get a scarf on. Get some gloves on. Get some earmuffs. Like Envy. <laughs> you, we sitting about the right age, man. We grew up. We didn't have no shice tea mask on walking to and from school, man. Come on. Now, we did have that, that the half mask. I, I, I had the half mask, but I had to take a bus. But that's when temperatures were like five degrees and it was snowing but outside. But you were outside. And we were outside. My man said in the grocery store, Never, all nope. they're saying is they're banning these ski masks from being in venues. I don't have a problem nah, with I that. I don't have a problem with What's it. What's wrong they, with y'all? Y'all shouldn't be wearing it in the malls. You shouldn't be wearing it in stores. You shouldn't be wearing it anything inside with other people. No, nah, and, and you look dumb you. in the it's club so with it on, too, because it's too hot. In the club, yeah, they, they wear it in the club all the time. Because you look, they, 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 they think it's a fashion statement, but I know you hot but how do you drink how, like how i was literally drink? gonna ask that they, they pulling it down yeah know y'all want to smoke hookah how y'all smoke hookah with it with the mask on it's so stupid facts facts all right brother thank you brother they put they poking holes in the mask put, uh, yikes hello who's this <laughs> well well what's up we're talking about these uh ski masks philadelphia's banning them what's your thoughts bro man i think it's necessary bro honestly it's like Half the more than half the kids that's wearing them, they ain't get the shot. They ain't care about staying in distance when COVID was a thing. So it's like, why you keep wearing them now when it's not even a mandate? Right. Okay. They use it. Well, I mean, they wearing it for style because just because they're like they're wearing it for style, doing it, so and some people are it. wearing it because outside is actually bro. cold. Look, style is one thing, but when you just walking around and you going in these stores and all that, you got this mask on your face and can't see nothing but eyes. I'm a black man, and I get nervous sometimes seeing these dudes because it'd it be grown men still doing it. It's common sense. I don't know why we acting like this isn't common sense, y'all. All right, bro. Thank you, man. What's it's the moral of the story, guys? You can't fight the trends. That's number one because a lot of this is happening because of fashion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but two, common sense is when you're walking into certain places and you know what you look like. That's right. Pull your mask up. Pull your mask up, man. There's no reason for us to even look more suspicious than people already think. With uh, than people already think we're suspicious now. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. There's no need to look you. even more suspicious than the suspicious you already look. There, okay. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we got rumors on the way, Ivy. What are we talking about? Oh man, we got Saucy Santana on the lineup. 
Um, he had something very interesting to say that I wanted to get into. We also got some GZT and I have um, some Fat Joe claims that I found very interesting coming up. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.